The following video is a submission to the 2011 IEEE APS Student Design Challenge by Andrew Temme, Don Vanderlyn, and Steven Zajac. The goal of the 2011 APS competition is to build a system that will measure an antenna's gain at every angle, accurate to within half a dB. On the right is the transmission antenna, and to the left is the antenna under test. The system is structurally supported by a wooden base built of 2x4s. The antenna under test rotates atop a styrofoam tower intended to be as transparent as possible. Behind the antenna under test is a panel of RF absorber material, which absorbs excess radiation. The styrofoam tower sits atop a base consisting of a fixed box and a rotating plate attached with a hollow core Lazy Susan type bearing. Rotation is achieved with a stepper motor, which can be seen near the top of this video. Fixed to the rotating plate and through the Lazy Susan is a hollow metal cylinder connected by a belt to the stepper motor. Through this hollow cylinder is a commutator, permitting low frequency electrical signals to pass through the plane of rotation. The RF detector is fixed to the rotating plane and a large stereo plug is allowed to rotate inside its socket, transferring power, ground, and the detected power signals to the fixed base. This completely eliminates all cord tangling problems and any need to return the system to a home position. The voltage controlled oscillator is mounted directly below the transmission antenna and is set by the potentiometer to 2.4 GHz. This signal is then boosted by one or two amplifiers, depending on how high the maximum gain of the antenna under test is expected to be. The entire assembly is then connected to a transmission antenna with a short SMA cable. A DC power cable is run between the rotator base and the VCO, such that RF losses due to long cable lengths are greatly reduced. The RF absorber and transmission antenna were selected such that at their separation distance, the main beam of the transmission antenna falls entirely on the absorber. This setup greatly reduces reflection off of walls and approximates an ideal anechoic environment on a limited budget. The antenna under test is attached with a short SMA cable to the detector network. Also included in this network is a bandpass filter which is necessary to lower the noise floor and prevent interference from extraneous signals. Locating the detector inside the styrofoam tower places it as close as possible to the antenna under test. The logarithmic detector was selected to provide the system with 60 dB of dynamic range. The first demonstration shows the rotation of an antenna sitting atop the styrofoam tower. The antenna under test is rotated a full 360 degrees and the received power is sampled at nearly 1000 points in a single rotation. Next, a tuned dipole antenna is rotated and the measured antenna pattern is displayed in real time. The rotator base is attached to a computer with an RS-232 cable and a program written using the student version of MATLAB is used to plot the received data in real time. Finally, a metamaterial type antenna is measured. This antenna was constructed by the Electromagnetics Research Group at Michigan State University and was presented at the 2010 IEEE International Symposium on Antennas and Propagation. This concludes the MSU Spartans team submission. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.